Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, this is the look I got. And this is a full face first impressions. There's only a couple things that I didn't have a new product to try, which was a face primer and a blush, I believe. Everything else is new. I have worn this lip color before, but it isn't new. I've only worn it once, and it was in yesterday's tutorial. Yeah, I think yesterday's unboxing. Everything else is completely new. So I hope you enjoy, and if you want to see how I get this look, if you want to see what I think about all of these products, keep watching. So I don't necessarily have a new eye primer to try, but when I read the reviews on the Soft Matte Concealer from NARS, a lot of people said that they use this as an eye primer, and one person even went as far as saying that it took the place of the Painterly Paint Pot or Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And that's a big statement. If you watch Nikki tutorials, you know that's her ride or die as an eye primer. So I thought that I will try this today. So I'm just going to take this e.l.f. concealer brush and dip into this concealer. Wow, freaking crazy on camera right now. But yeah, I look like I have no lashes. So today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I'm going to take Heaven and set that concealer down. For a transition shade, I'm going to be going in to Nudie. So these shadows are pretty consistent with Too Faced shadows. They are really smooth and really blendable. So I'm just going to deepen that up a bit, just a tiny, tiny bit, with Makeup and Chill. It's such a warm, chocolatey brown, and I really love it. I'm actually going to bring that into the outer corner as well, but really lightly also because it can get really dark really easily. I'm just going to be light and hold it farther away from the brush end. So I really want to use the pinks because they are so, so pretty. So I'm going to go into Bunny Nose. It's very, very pink. I'm hoping it's not too pink. I'm then going to take Kittens. I'm gonna curl my lashes and pop mascara on. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Grandiose. So the wand is bent, as you can see, and it helps get a good like angle that sometimes you can't get with a straight wand. So this is the difference between the mascara side and the non-mascara side, and I think there's a pretty big difference. Like, I don't even feel the need to wear lashes, honestly, with this mascara, for like an everyday look at least. So I think I'm still going to put lashes on just to see, and I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispies, so those are lashes versus the mascara. So wispies are a little more natural looking than other lashes that I use. So I also don't have a new primer to use, but I did use the Tatcha Water Cream and the C Firmer Day Firmer. That's like the New Yorker coming out, I guess. The C Firma Day Serum. <sighs> she actually didn't use primer on me when I went to Sephora to get my custom makeover. And she said that my skin was already pretty smooth and since this is a dewy foundation, she didn't want it to be sliding all over the place if she used a primer. So I'm going to forego the primer today, something I never really do, but yeah, my skin feels very prepped. So it's not like unhydrated and it's not untaken care of, um, so it shouldn't affect too much how the foundation wears. That's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, by the way. I don't think I said that. So for concealer, I have two options. I have the Radiant Creamy and the Soft Matte. I'm gonna use the Soft Matte 
for the eyebrows later. So I think I'll try the Radiant Creamy to really get in all these first impressions. So I feel like I can still see a little darkness. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I feel like I see like a little darkness under my under eye. But it's so easy to blend out and so creamy. It does give really good coverage. So I'm just gonna set that super quick with some Neutrogena Shine Control. So I'm gonna be using my Dip Brow Promise for the first time. Um, I might do this off camera though because my mirror is a little farther away since I'm not filming in my usual filming area. I feel like I want to get closer to the mirror to make these brows right. So I'll be right back and let you know how it goes. So those are the brows. They are a little more intense today, but I kind of like the way they came out. The number 12 brush was really perfect. It was thin and firm and allowed me to get more precise on the end of my brow, which I really liked. So let's move on to contour and highlight. Also want to use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer to bronze up. I looked at this color yesterday and it's more of a bronzy kind of contour color. Perfect for the summer. And this is more of a sculpting contour. So I'm gonna try both of them. So I'm gonna take the Sculpt shade. I like don't wanna touch this, it's so pretty. The Sculpt shade right here. These are so blendable. It's been a little while since I cream contoured. I'm gonna use the Soft Matte in Cafe. This is a warmer color, so it definitely will bronze up my face, so I'm just gonna put it on the outsides. So I'm just gonna do it a little above for the contour. And just a little on the temple. And that's all I'm gonna do with the soft matte. All right now I'm going to take the soft matte in macadamia. And then I'm gonna use some butter bronzer on a fluffy brush and just And I'm going to use these two shades right here, going with the lighter shade first. And then lightly with the stunner. That is so pretty. Then I'm gonna take that little, that lighter shade and just... Then I'm just gonna take the dewy stick with a stippling brush and on the high point. And for lips, I'm gonna take the Kylie Moon Lip Liner. And then Jeffree Star Mini MUA Collab and Daddy. That's like a one swipe wonder right there. I'm just gonna spray the dew. So this is the final look. I really wanted to try everything that I got in my Sephora haul and I love it all. I love it all. Like, I am not disappointed by anything, mostly because I did test these products before I bought them, which I recommend doing, especially because you won't have to A, run the risk of wasting money on something you don't like, and B, don't have to go through the hassle of 
return yet. The only thing I didn't try was the soft matte concealers, but I heard great things and I love them. I really do. I used it to cut my brows, to prime my lids. I used the bronzer shade to warm up my face. And yeah, it came out really nice. I'm really happy with the way it came out. The highlight shades in that Tarte palette, I was really surprised by. I really bought it for the contour shades, but I love the highlight shades as well. And the mascara I love, which I didn't do the lower lash line, BRB. I really feel so dewy. I'm definitely going to do like a bronzy goddess summer tutorial I think because that's the vibes I'm getting from these products. The lip, the daddy lip from Jeffree Star Cosmetics the, and many MUA. I really love the color. I don't know. I really love it. Mm. It pairs really well with the moon lip liner. Yeah, so that was today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time.